The Colorado Avalanche are absolutely buzzing. We may never lose a game again. The Stanley Cup playoffs have officially begun, and our first round matchup is against the LA Kings, a team that we demolished in the regular season. We have also started the playoffs with some demolitions as well, as we took a 2-0 lead at home against LA. Rostislav Nashrov is flying. Line number one is scoring so many goals, and the rest of the team is putting in work as well. But today, we'll find out when push comes to shove, what can the Avalanche do? Drew Doughty is starting to get on our nerves. He's trying to take us down after the whistle. He's trying to injure Rostislav Nashrov, and we are not going to have it. And now we have to go to LA and play in their barn and things are going to get a little rowdy. But we do not care. Today you are going to be witnessing a first round sweep. Lock it in. But before you witness the sweep, we have some business matters to attend to. We got to go buy a... a Brand new watch or something. We have $439,000, 10 perks that we can afford. Now, last episode, we focused on discipline and endurance, both of which helped us quite a bit. But for the remainder of the playoffs, we need something to get Rusty some more speed. It literally feels like each and every game, we are walking in quicksand. Okay, Rostislav Nastrov already owns a luxury car with plus two speed, plus one X factor points. But what if I told you we could get plus one strength and plus one speed with the purchase of a bike. That is right. Rostislav Nashrov is leaving behind the luxury life to pursue a simple life with a bicycle. Strength, speed, 20K, easy decision. Dude, this game makes absolutely no sense. We got the car, we got the bike. We're using them both. I, I don't get it, but I'm not gonna ask questions. So now it is game time. Everything on the line. We're going for that clean sweep. Let's see what happens. Game number three. Crypto.com Arena. It is the home of the LA Kings. Now, we always play super well when we're in our own barn. We build off the energy of the crowd. We buzz right off the whistle. To end the season, I'm not going to lie, we played some horrible hockey. And most of them were away games. So we're going to see what we can do. We are off to an early start here with a power play as Nate Mack gets it over me. Little Toby. Oh, what a what a poke from behind, too. I tried to just rip that shot quick before we got caught. But we'll take the power play. And I believe we are going to have to go to the bench here. I mean, we have literally carried our team game in and game out. And Coach still... Okay. He has decided to sit McKinnon and Rantanen and put Rostislav Nashrov, Hookie, and Smitty out on the ice. Oh, Coach is an absolute legend for this one, all right? He's starting to trust the boys. I want to play with my boys. All right, power play one, get on the ice. We're done. Okay, let's go, Kale. Okay, the, the boys are starting to look me off a little bit. Hookie, let's get something going here. Hookie, what are we doing? Hookie is doing toe drags as he enters the zone and just literally handing the puck away. Okay, this, this might be our last... Literally our last time playing together on the power play with these boys with how the hold up. Hey, hold up Nice shot there rusty right into his chest. Perfect. Look perfect. Look great work rust. Oh, you know what? Bergey is on Bergey is on right D. We have two right-handed D men playing out here. I'm getting wrecked as I ended. This might be the worst power play I've ever witnessed. Oh, hold up. I take that back rusty go rust Dude, I'm I keep getting caught Oh, let's go! Smitty! What a pass, Smitty! And despite the, the worst power play that you will ever see, Rusty and Smitty connect for yet another big playoff goal. And we... Okay, I think that... I, I think we did dive through a guy's legs and potentially warp right through him there. But you know what? That's a nasty celly to go along with it. Let's go. You know who I have not even seen so far this game? Drew Doughty is nowhere to be found. Like, I think that, I think we might have taken that guy out of the playoff series. Okay, he's, I'm not going to lie. He's, he's out on the ice right now. No, he's not. Wait, where actually is Drew Doughty? I thought that was him, but no, it was number six, not number eight. Drew Doughty appears to be missing. Yo, has anyone heard from Drew Doughty? This guy is lost, you know? Take a seat, buddy. Okay, let's just play some good, good, clean, smart hockey here. We're going to do a little toey. I'm going to try to get this over to... Pop. Ooh, I know that was a little bit of a force, but honestly, a pretty good looking force. And we try to find McKinnon. Rusty? Oh. Rusty? Oh my, oh my gosh. <gasps> Boom! Oh, okay. We are out here trucking. Rusty is out here putting in work. <gasps> I, don't, 
not a bad clapper. You know, maybe it's maybe a smarter play to make there. Maybe we could start working it to our teammates a little bit more, but not a bad look. And we go into the first intermission with a two-goal lead. I don't know who buried the second one, but another big goal. I'm telling you what, line one is putting in the work. Power play line number one putting in the work. But the rest of the team is putting in work as well. Like, we got to give it up. The entire team is coming together for the first time ever. And it's happening at the perfect time. All right, let's just knock it. Let's just knock it decked out here. I'm not getting kicked out of this game. The no. Oh, the no. You better keep your head up, buddy. Oh, look who it is. Drew Doughty for the first time is finally on the ice. As we're going to... I'm going to play up at my point. Again, I usually would, usually would play a little bit lower. But I want a little 1v1 versus Drew. All right, Daddy. This is it. Boom. Take a... Uh, you know, not, I mean, it's a big hit, but it's not, it's not the hit. You know what I mean? We're trying to take, oh, oh! Rantanen, if we score this, oh, and Rantanen, stop. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Rantanen, Rantanen just decked Drew Doughty onto the bench. That is one of the biggest hits that we have seen. And Doughty, take a seat. We're going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, oh, and I slashed him. Yep. All right. That's, yep. That's on me. That's on me. You know, I got a little overzealous. I try to do a toe drag. I try to do a windmill. And then I slash him when it doesn't get done. That's just, that's a selfish play. Rusty literally out here acting like a toddler out on the ice. Not getting what he wants. That's my bad, boys. We'll get this back. Okay, we get out on the ice early here. But we have still absolutely no energy. So this might be a very quick period here from the first line. No mistakes. Bergy, feed me. Yep. We got a one-on-one versus Drew Dowdy. Drew. Oh! <gasps> Oh, Drew Doughty, you just got absolutely put into a blender. I never want to see you on the ice with me again, Drew. All right, take a seat, buddy. Listen, I know I maybe could have forced that puck back door, but after you do a spin move on Drew Doughty, there's no... I mean, we should have forced the puck back door. It is now two to one, three minutes left. It's going to be our last shift of the period. No, 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 I'm not getting good vibes here. I'm not getting good vibes. We're going to clear that out. Let's go here. Yep, speed, speed, speed. Rusty, use that bicycle. Rusty's getting interfered. Yeah, I gotta say, the bicycle, I know it's only plus one speed. I have seen absolutely zero difference in my speed or my strength this game. If not, we, we might even feel weaker. Nothing dumb, and period comes to an end. All right, we only have a one goal lead. I know, I mean, this entire series has been literally the easiest series that we have played. Have not faced any adversity. The fact that they scored one is the most adversity we have faced all series long we'll be fine let's just go out there get a goal i want to complete the clean sweep we all know how the playoffs go you know it seems like things are going drew just just don't get up man it seems like things are going well and then at the flip of a hat you know one game leads to another and then boom the series is tied that is going to happen with us if we lose this game right here right now i'm just going to fire that low oh no Okay, there's our first time getting rocked all series long. It was bound to happen, but Rusty gets up and he continues to fight. Now, again, the thing that we need to make sure is we can get hit like that, but it has to... What just happened there? The puck was in play, but it was blown offside, or maybe it went out of the rink. Did it hit off like a glove on the bench? And then, of course, we get sent to the bench. Okay, coach. Oh, great. Here comes coach again. He's got the whiteboard out. That's how you know he's getting serious. Ross we haven't had any sustained pressure. Coach, what, have, what do you think I've been doing out there? I've got eight shots on goal. Our line has been flying, and we haven't been in the defensive zone for more than three seconds at a time. Are you even watching the same game as me? I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't really talk back to coach because he's actually been giving me power play line one minute, even though we are on power play two. So... Okay, I just got toe drag. Nice. Nice little nice little windmill. We're gonna get it over to McKinnon. Okay, not quite. We're just we just we're just holding on to the puck a little bit too long. Byfield, go ahead and take a and here we go. We are going to have to sit the last five minutes of this game. If you want to fight Rostislav Nashrov, I'm going to try to get, we're going to try to get him in a headlock here. Yep. 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 Get him in that headlock. Okay, we're trying to go. Okay. I wanted to get him in the headlock, dude. We were hitting him with that dodge, trying to go for the grab right after. But Dursey's just going to take a seat instead. We hit him with a couple under, couple over, bop, bop, bang, and he's holding his neck in pain. Sit down. Bop, bop, bang, holding his neck in pain. Low key kind of goes hard dude i swear when we get out of this box it's going to we are going to be down okay 2-1 with 238 on the clock and rostislav nashrov is back on the ice could be our last shift of the game so we have to make the most of this to know oh no we have to make the most of this what a save varley yo varley that i mean he just has not been tested at all in this series but he comes up with a huge save when we need it most again we just avoid injury here play smart there's drew dowdy dowdy 
I was taking a little run on him. I'm not going to lie. No shots. Nice save, Varley. Coming in huge again. And we're going to go for a rush. We got one-on-one -on -one versus Dowdy. Dowdy hates the spin moves. Dowdy's getting booed. Oh, empty net. No, the no. What a save, Varley. Here we go again. Yep, empty netter. Rusty! Oh, Rusty getting booed all day long and it doesn't matter. He ices this game and we have a chance at the clean sweep. Ross, okay. Coach, like I'm trying to enjoy the replays and like celebrate with my teammates. And then coach just come, comes in here and says, if I blinked, I would have missed that one. Coach, I'm trying to get hype right now. All right. I'm trying to enjoy my time with the boys. Get out of my face. We bury the empty netter. I wasn't missing that one. I I was about 50-50. I thought that one was going to go 10 feet wide. But Rusty buries it. We work our way up the leaderboards. 35 seconds left. Surely, there's no way that we choke this game away. Our chances at a clean sleep here in round number one of the Stanley Cup playoffs continue. The LA Kings got absolutely nothing going that entire game. As our power play continues to dominate, Rusty is a force to be reckoned with out on the ice. Bodying people, winning fights, hitting the uppercuts, the overcuts, everything. And just like that, the boys look to win one last game. Now, the only downside I'll say from this game is the bike did absolutely nothing. We got plus one strength, plus one speed. It felt like we were slower than we have ever been. We're going to need a few more bicycles if we want to feel fast on the ice. But other than that, a flawless game from the Avs. Let's keep it going here in game number four. Oh, we had a C plus though? Why is our team play so low? I mean, maybe I was being a, a bit of a puck hog out there and maybe I should have passed it on the empty netter. But coach, I saw an opening and I took it. I mean, you can't be mad at that. Okay, we did get plus one TP. If we can use this on speed, then we're talking like plus three speed versus what we were two episodes ago. However, that might that might not be an option for us as yes, it is going to be two TP to get power skater. That takes us up almost from an 84 to an 85. Maybe getting some agility in the mix wouldn't be bad takes us up almost to a 79 or about halfway there you know what that is what we are going to do we'll grab some agility so we are getting all of these down we have endurance we have the speed agility and acceleration we are working our way down the list we're gonna have to start saving our points but for the playoffs we're going all in okay we are being forced into an interview here Rostov Nashrov, you're up three games to none how confident are you that your team is going to clinch the series I'm not going to let the LA Kings back in the series. They simply can't compete with us. I mean, that's literally what I said. How are you planning on backing that up? I'm going to do the same thing I've done all series, or I'm going to be responsible for the win. I can almost guarantee it. All right. Factoring on, on a goal? The reporter is saying that I need to go out there and score a goal. Have you been watching the games? Rusty is the deciding factor in each and every one of these playoff games. And all we have to do is score one point and win the game. Not a problem at all. Let's go here. The Avs have faced zero adversity this entire series. I mean, everything, and I mean everything, is going our way. Compared to how the regular season ended, where we were losing every game, despite putting up points, despite putting in work, things weren't happening. Now, the flip of a switch, everything's going right, and we're going to get this started right away. I want to prove this reporter wrong. My first... Okay, that's how it's going to be. Varley, dude, I got we got to give it up to Varley. Again, I don't know what happened to our goaltending situation. I don't know why we got rid of Gorgie, but uh, Varley has stepped up to the plate. He's usually not the kind of guy you'd want to take into a deep playoff run, but you know what? Varley is apparently our guy, and I respect coaches and, and the GM's decision to do that. All right, Kale, we're going to need you to we're going to need you to just stick to defense for now after what I just saw there and Dowdy, I'm going to No penalty. <laughs> Dude, I saw Drew Dowdy up the ice and I was going to take a charge at him. And instead, we just bodied Anze Kopitar like it was nothing. <laughs> that is one of the funniest things that I have ever seen. Drew Dowdy, Anze Kopitar, I don't care who it is. You're taking a seat. Okay, still at zeros. Let's go here. Rusty, we need to turn this game around. Dude, the defense, I'm telling you what, the defense is kind of clamps compared to last game. Felt like they actually gave us some space, and now we just have absolutely nothing. I mean, Rusty is absolutely laying the boom on everyone here. Dowdy, go ahead and take a seat. We're just, our, our discipline is at an all-time high. We're playing like an absolute moron out here, but we can't get any penalties, apparently. Oh, this is bad. Oh, 
Okay, dude, I'm telling you what, Varley cannot make any mistakes. Even when he completely misses the puck, boom. Okay, it is 0-0 after one. It's been a while since we didn't get the first goal in the first goal early. It feels like every single game of this series, it's been two minutes into the game and boom, we're on the scoreboard. So a nice defensive battle here to start this one, but we'll go ahead and plan on changing that in period number two. Okay, Dowdy, boom. There's a big clean hit and we're gonna go, oh, we are, we are, oh! <laughs> I think I just stuck my skate into Drew Dowdy. We burned him to the outside. Toei. Oh, try to find, try to find that. Good looks. Okay, literally, I mean, everything is going well, dude. We just, we have had no ozone pressure. Absolutely zero. So let's change that here. I'm going to start working it to my teammates a bit more. I'm trying to do too much on my own, I think. I'm going to sit behind you, Mac. You can, Mac, you can go ahead and feed that. You can feed that to me anytime, but that's fine too. Okay, Lekkonen with the big goal. 1-0 with 11-11 on the clock and Rusty getting back on the ice. We did get the first one. I don't think we've been down at all this entire series. Okay, we got we got two guys just crawling to get up over on the left side. Let's go here, Rant. I'm going to sit behind Rant. Again, we're going to work it to our teammates a bit. <gasps> Rant, go ahead. Yep. Yep. Nice pass. And oh, okay, McKinnon. You know, not the shot I would have taken there, but that's all right. Let's work this up to Rant. Nice. Okay, we're starting to work our teammates. We're starting to get that ozone pressure. Dude, I think it's I think it's about time we start something over here. All right, I'm going to take a little a little run at Drew Dowdy. Nothing dirty, but we're just going to go for it, all right? Once I see an opportunity, we will go. Right, even McKinnon's dropping the dropping the body on these guys. We're going to force a pass. Yep, we're gone. Let's try deep. Ew. Oh! Oh, good look there, Rant. Okay, we're starting to get a little offense going. Dowdy, we're going to go do work in the corner. Nice, nice. Okay, we're at least we're at least killing two o'clock. Dude, absolutely nothing is happening for us this game. I mean, we've had a couple good shots, couple shots off the post, but all in all, this is a pitiful performance from line number one. Just a performance you cannot be having in a decisive, clean sweep game. But you know what? The rest of the lines are getting the job done as we go into the second intermission. Still up one. No thanks to line one. Lekkinen got the goal. McKinnon missed the wide open net, but we're going to keep this train rolling. All right, hopping into period number three, one period away from the clean sweep. Okay, let's start playing with some fire. You know, I feel like we've been going through the motions a little bit today. Sure, we've been playing. Okay, that's killing, kind of killing my vibe with that offside, McKinnon. I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's play with some fire here, boys. I'm going for a coast to coaster. I'm telling you right now, I'm not passing this puck. Rostislav Nastrov cuts right through the middle of round one and gets pickpocketed from behind. Okay, Dino, I see you. I see you. Hit me with the epic music, boys. It's time. Coast to coast. Rostislav Nastrov. All right, round one. Oh, round two. Here we go, Rusty. We're finding the lane. Rostislav Nastrov, the slowest skater out on the ice at all times with the nose giving us some space. We make it down to their side. We're not passing this puck away. We are not passing this puck away. We are. We are losing it to Drew Dowdy. Are you kidding me? Okay, nothing dumb here. I mean, sure, we're killing some clock, but we have got to actually work it to our teammates. Our team play is at an all-time low. Our morale is at an all-time low. Our confidence at an all-time low. No goals against, though. No goals against. Nice poke, Russ. We're getting back. Look at this. Anderson, go ahead and take a seat, and we'll cover that puck up. I'm fine with that, Varley. You cover that puck every single time. All right, we need this goal. We need this goal. I want the dagger. I want to be the hero. Rusty plays day in, day out for the fans here in Colorado. We're going to see if we can burn it to the outside. Drew Dowdy, a little spit. Oh, 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 what was that? It's getting ugly, boys. It's getting ugly. All right, I'm going to get off the ice. I'm getting off the ice just so we can have last shift of the game. This should be a nice and short shift. We'll have two minutes to end it. We can secure this. It's getting a little scary. Okay, we're going to watch the rest of this one from the bench just in case something fishy happens. Barley, you are insane. This guy, I mean, this is the best goaltending performance I have ever seen in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I mean, please don't let Drew Dowdy be the one to do it. We should get our last shift here. Gain some energy. Get out there. Hold on, Bergy. Oh, Bergy with a little toe drag. Nice nice move there, Bergy. I went out on the ice before. Goals goes in. You hear me, coach? Landis Cog absolutely rock. Ranton it is standing up, which means it's our time to shine. And here comes Rusty. 47 seconds. Okay, we lock down our copes. Yep, let's go. For the sweep, for the sweep, for the sweep. We play for the sweep. Oh, I see Rantanen. I'm not going to force it, though. Empty net. Empty net. I'm getting held! Ref! We got to hit this empty net. Rantanen misses the empty net as well. The boys are absolutely throwing right now. Boom! Drew Dowdy, take a seat. Kepe, take a seat. Feed me. Boom! Let's go! And that is the dagger. The Colorado Avalanche take a 4-0 sweep over the LA Kings. Rostislav Nastrov with a booming hit on Drew Doughty to end the series. I cannot think of a more poetic way 
to end the series than what we just witnessed right here and right there. Boom, take a seat. I'm gonna, you know what? We're gonna take somebody down with us. I wanna injure somebody out here. Boom, three, two, Ooh, get me out there, coach. Let's let's put one more dagger in their heart here on the power play. Two seconds left. Give it to me. Oh, these boys are apps. Yeah, you throw you throw the bio steel bottle. You're heading home there, buddy. What better way to end the series? Two seconds left. Give me this puck. And that is going to do it. Look at the celly from the boys. Sticks are being thrown in the LA barn. The disrespect from the Colorado Avalanche. This is a team that's cocky, man. Oh, and they're, they're waving goodbye to the fans. <laughs> Yo. Hey, you know what? Let's take a moment to respect our opponents in a well-fought battle. Except Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty, I'm skipping your hand. I'm not going to lie. All right. A well-fought battle to the LA Kings, though. They played a good, hard-fought... I'm just kidding, dude. They are absolute garbage. They never had a lead this entire series. Not one single time did they take the lead. Each and every game, we got off to a hot start. We scored the first goal, and we never let them back into the game. And today was just another story of that. 4-0 the score of the series an easy win for the boys and cal got the first star despite the loss what is going on here this coach this team everything's starting to come together i mean not our best game we didn't have a point oh we didn't have a point now i get to get roasted by the reporter just for not having a point despite us coming in with a huge win here we go i'm telling you right now we are going to get roasted you did not get on the score sheet but that does not matter how does it feel to be on the next okay at least hey at least she admires that we won the game i was disappointed to not have a big game but i'm never gonna complain when we win look at that rusty's starting to mature a little bit that was an intense seven games it's going to take some time to come back down from that <clears throat> eleanor Eleanor, I'm not, I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, we did just win that series in four games. And uh, for you to come in here and to, to disrespect not only me, not only the fans, not only the Colorado Avalanche, everyone in this building, it's an absolute atrocity. You belong nowhere near a microphone. You belong nowhere near the greatness that is Rostislav Nashrov. And I hope to never see you again, Eleanor. Okay, if I'm being honest. And we hit her with the see ya. That's what I'm talking about, Rusty. See you later, Eleanor. Get out of my house. Let's take a look at the playoff tree and see what is going down. Next episode, we will find out who we are facing in round two. Regardless of who it is, I'm telling you right now, it is going to be a much tougher matchup than what we faced versus the LA Kings. And look at these series. Okay, Calgary has a chance to sweep the Ducks. How the Ducks got into a playoff spot, I have absolutely no idea. The Winnipeg Jets did come back. They're up 2-1 now. Edmonton up 3-1. Those are two teams that... Uh, we honestly do not want to mess with. Over on the East, the Columbus Blue Jackets are up 3-0 over the Rangers. We got 2-2 between the Hurricanes and Ottawa. 2-1 with Florida taking the lead and 2-2 between Toronto and the Sabres. Now, depending on how this goes, we could have a really easy path to the Stanley Cup final or a really difficult path. The West, though, is looking pretty tough. So there you have it. A nice and easy episode today as we go up 4-0, take the sweep, and move on to the next round. Now, who will we face? Regardless of who it is, it's going to be an absolute battle. I hope you guys did enjoy the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs with Rostislav Nashrov. If you did, hit the video with a like, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to one milli and much more Rostislav Nashrov on the way. I'm Nasher and I'm out. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.